And we're back in the attic. So we got a blank thermostat. There it is. And um, so there's no power coming from this guy. So we're going to open up the control box, see what's going on with this. So uh, here we go. <laughs> check for voltage so we go R and C and I have nothing there is a drain switch here um, but it's not tripped as far as I can see and I should still be getting 24 volts from the transformer so either we don't have high voltage uh, or the transformer is dead or there's a burnt fuse somewhere I don't see any fuses on this there's no disconnect for this part so just a quick way as we can set our meter to NVC, which is non-contact voltage. So I do have high voltage, it appears. Just to show you here, see? So, we may have a bad transformer, so we need to find out where that transformer connects and then check from there. All right, so I'm checking the wires just to be serious. And we have, you can't see it, but there's 240. So I have high voltage, I need to find out why. Uh, we have no low voltage. So this cord here goes directly to the transformer. It's the secondary side. I do have voltage. So there's a problem in the board. So there's probably a fuse somewhere. So we got to find it. All right, so we have a little tiny glass fuse here. I'm on continuity. It's not toning, so that fuse is burnt. So now we got to see if there's a short. Because I don't even know where I'm going to get that fuse. So that's our little fuse there. The little 5 amp glass fuse. Of course, it's... I don't have any of these. I don't know where to even buy those, so. But yeah, I do have 24 volts coming into the system. Um, so I need to find that, uh, see if there's some kind of short, but I also need to find a new fuse and see if I can do it. Now this has been replaced before because I found a spare, which is this one. This one's also dead. The one I pulled out, I actually broke it. Uh, but thankfully I have that one at least. Um, yeah, so if I do find these fuses, I'm probably going to get a bunch of them. Uh, but I can't, I don't seem to find any shorts at this point. So, and the transformer is still functional. So I know that the short is not in the transformer itself. But what I've done here is I've put my jumper wires on each side of the fuse holder. And then I've clamped on a three amp fuse. The glass one is a two and a half, but uh, this, I just want to see if it'll work. I got my amp clamp on there. So we'll see what the amp draw is and we'll apply power 24 volt power here we go okay drawing point four amps blower motor just kicked on so we may have just had a bad fuse all right so now that i know the unit's fine we're going to go ahead and see if we can find um this fuse. Go ahead and remove power. Okay, so I got my sketchy rig all set up here. Uh, so far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and cycle the heat on and just cycle everything, make sure everything works. Um, of course, I couldn't find the fuses in stock, so I have to order them. And they're like 30 bucks each. Yikes. So, we'll probably order like two or three of them, just so there's backups, uh, and then go from there. But yeah, I don't want to leave it like this overnight. I just don't think it's safe uh but yeah let's go ahead and cycle everything see if it all works all right notice that's back on looks like we're on a delay all right it's calling for heat let's go check the unit all right heat pump is energized all right we're using 1.6 amps that's looking all right it's not glowing or anything uh so the heat strips have energized I think we're good. I'm definitely gonna put a three amp fuse in this thing. I think two and a half is probably a little, a little too small for this. So we're not. We're gonna have to order them and come back. I'm not gonna risk leaving it all sketch like this. So yeah. So I ended up going back, changed the fuse, and then uh, put the lid back on, and then it immediately blew the fuse. Um, Thankfully, I put in the three amp fuse, which ended up being a lot cheaper than 30 bucks a piece. It ended up being 
I think about 20 bucks for six of them. Uh, so I did get some spares just in case, but it looks like one of the thermostat wires had rubbed and was when you put the case on, it would touch and short out. So that's that was my culprit. Unfortunately, I didn't catch it on video um, because I was kind of in a hurry. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to know how that one ended up. So if you ever come across one of these Unico systems, um, they're basically just a high static unit. Like they don't have regular vents in the ceiling. It's just like a an inch and a half hole or two inch hole. Uh, but yeah, it's a high static system, but uh, the, you know, the heat pump is just a regular standard one. But anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment to me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and uh, follow me on Instagram, Facebook. And if you want to support the channel, uh, visit my tool store and buy some socks. Thanks for watching. <laughs>